A dog comes home from a doggy daycare with a broken leg, and no one can explain what happened. The owner of the daycare paid the medical bills, but the dog's owner says that is not enough. Lynn Hayes Freeland has the story now, new at six. Meet Mojo. He's two years old, and his owner, Diana Fernandez, says she's had him since he was a pup. You can't tell by the way he walks now, but his leg has been broken in two places. I had to stop everything for him and just 24 7 care. Fernandez says Mojo was at the dog stop in Emsworth to board while she was out of town. Just Mojo has some anxiety issues, and when the staff contacted her, she suggested putting him in a room all by himself. They said he was anxious and that they think that he scratched at the door because there were marks in a hole. But this, says Fernandez, was the end result. Mojo's leg broken in two places and no explanation how. Mojo needed surgery and the dog stop paid the bill in excess of $5,000. Now Fernandez says there's still the cost of physical therapy. He went in with four good legs. He was in a room by himself and he came out with a broken leg and three good legs. The owners of the dog stop here in Emsworth tell a different story altogether, and they say not so fast. In fact, the owner tells me they've gone above and beyond to try and help Mojo. The dog came and, and was here for a, a few hours, and it injured itself. And you know, we did what we would normally do. We called the owner. The dog stop says Fernandez also signed a release stating she would be responsible for any bills if something happened while the dog was being housed here. We went beyond our policy and paid for this entire surgery because I felt that if we didn't, the dog was probably not going to receive the care that it needed. Dog Stop says it drew the line at the physical therapy bills because it was not required by the vet. If it was required, we would have totally paid for it, but since it was just recommended, it was silly to me that they said that. In Emsworth, Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDK, TV News.